Uh, welcome to another SafeShares uh, app podcast, or more or less a SafeShares podcast. Then uh, I updated my Armada of SafeShares devices to the early access version of 2.1.4.13, I think, which is the version, also including the other tablet, of course. And I want to mention some briefly mention some of the changes in this new version uh, roughly i think one week before the mwc and i guess so that we can see the final release of the version 214 uh, at around the mwc so first of all what has been fixed there were several fixes that uh, got introduced with version 2.1.4 that are in 2.1.4 just like for example the volume fix for my uh, lovely and beloved uh, Yola tablet so you might know that the Yola tablet had a problem with um, volume not, not you were not able to control the volume you have uh, you had only the option to either mute the volume or have it on full volume now you can again control your volume and um, the notification sounds and the playback sounds and so on uh, of the various different videos will then or are now controllable let's try to demonstrate this with a nice little video i have here and almost two years ago when we launched sailfish os we decided to as you might hear in the background it didn't have all the possible features I can control the volume again on my Yola tablet, which is a nice addition, especially it was very, very annoying when this uh, got out of charge and it was uh, then notifying middle of the night with full volume up. Um, so nice thing that they fixed this. This is basically most of the fixes for the Yola tablet. There are some other fixes, of course, that uh, basically uh, introduce fixes for the whole operating system just like for example Calda fixes if you had problems with Calda before so calendar synchronization with Nextcloud for example some things are now fixed not everything is fixed the next update will fix I think more because there are several sessions that were run uh, according to some users that also had problems and they reported problems that are reported also fixes or potential fixes and I guess we will see the benefit from those in the next version so 2.2 .2, which will be the next big version so 2.1.4 um, of course the uh, old device is still supported the Yola uh, one is still supported uh, which is nice and I can tell you this is really really awesome because this device is almost five years old now and you still get the latest version of SafeShares running on this very smoothly as you can see here it's a version 2.1 uh, camera focus 2.1.4.13 so pretty nice um, of course you get many many security fixes when it comes to security Yola is uh, basically on the run to support your device even the older devices with security fixes so you don't have to worry about uh, issues when it comes to the Xperia X, of course, the latest flagship flagship device with Safish OS, this has been uh, gained some fixes as well. You can see that uh, the UI, let me bring this up here, the UI is bodily smooth now. They fixed some issues with the compositor, which makes the UI uh, bodily smooth now, at least for most of the applications. The uh, sadly, there isn't a fix for the cute WebKit bug. So this uh, fix here for the smoothness of the UI fixes some problems with cute WebKit applications, but not all problems of those uh, cute WebKit applications. For example, it's still a little, little bit um, stuttery occasionally, as you can see here. Let me click on on the website, and it will load. Uh, pretty empty website let's click on another website and it will load and you might see that input is lagging and scrolling is lagging it's nothing in comparison to for example the 
Yola C that I also have here, which runs pretty fast with my WebCat browser. Let's open up the same web page and let's scroll as you can see here a lot smoother might not react so fast on the scrolling commands but it's a lot smoother and if i click on links it automatically directly goes into the website and if i do the same here it might not always do this so if i click on something nothing happens i have to multiple times click on something so that it is loading another website so this is a very very serious issue i hope yola will fix this in version 2.2 but there were some nice additions to the xperia export for example you have now the option for the micro sd card or of course usb on the go to use uh, butterfs file system again so if you have some butterfs file system on your micro sd card or usb device you can use it with the um, xperia x again so butterfs support is now again there which is pretty nice is that the Xperia X has a dedicated camera button that you might see here and uh, nothing happened in the past if you clicked on it when, uh, when you are or while you are on the home screen now if you press and hold it for a few seconds it will launch the camera app and now I can do inception <laughs> and basically I can do a snapshot uh, sadly the camera app yeah it's still they have improvements just like for example ISO 800 is now choosable in the menu but the uh, overall focus experience is still a little bit problematic so if I focus very closely on a subject the subject is sharp but if I focus from here on my camera now and then zoom in let me show you this if I zoom in now, you can see it's, I hope you can see it, that it's not really sharp. And when I go to the close up, you can see, uh, it's also not very sharp. I have to go a little bit closer, I guess. There's a lot closer, a lot sharper than it was before. Um, so basically there's still a problem with the focusing thing. So best thing is really to avoid the tap to focus. And that's what I uh, at least think works best. Shake a little bit so it will focus on the object in the middle basically. And then if you take a shot, you can get sharper results at least if you're not use tap to focus. This is what I get from the camera. So it's still not the best camera. Not sure who's to blame here, Savish S or the Sony camera driver. Um, next thing, which is cool, which I, which I cannot demonstrate, I guess, because I don't have, have anything to demonstrate, but uh, usually you have notifications uh, that are coming on the top. And in the past, you did not have the option to, to swipe them away, basically. So they stayed there for the time that they had to stay there, the delay time, I think five seconds or something like this. And then they hide themselves or they hit themselves. And now you have the option to swipe them away if you are annoyed by them, which is a nice um, thing as well. Then there are some under, un underlying um, optimizations for Android notifications uh, that um, uh, are stored in different, different categories now and so on. Uh, there is the option uh, in the, as a nice simple improvement only, in the um, lock screen you can see you have now a carousel uh, of the pin code entering thingy. So this is new. Then package kit got an update which is very very important because it not only yeah has some consequences to it. So if you have warehouse installed, be aware that warehouse will be removed because the package kit version, the new version, which is I think one point something, one point something, and before it was zero point something. So they changed the ABI, so it's not compatible anymore. So basically warehouse needs to be recompiled, but I'm not sure if it's still in development. So I would suggest if you are still using open repos, uh, grab the um, yeah, Storeman instead. Storeman is working. Uh, there was an update a couple of days ago 
so very very good on time um, where they updated or adds, added support for safety rest 2 1 and 4 where do we have it storeman here and storeman runs uh, pretty fine pretty fast and as you can see here it also tells me about updates so I can install updates here as you can see a storeman again has a few updates so there are free updates available let me install them uh, so the next thing, uh, libav got an update. This is the library for uh, the multimedia library for audio and video. And uh, overall, I guess the experience in terms of video got improved. So I had less stutter, less problems with videos so far that I played back from YouTube, which is pretty nice. And um, um, when it comes to, let me. Just play, let me search for one yellow video that I can play back from, from YouTube directly to demonstrate to you that this is working. I'm using, by the way, the Alerts video player, my video player, basically to browse uh, YouTube. And uh, I also have then the option to, of course, click on videos. Do, 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 do and for example can click on this video here safe us introduction march 2017 uh, 720p and as you can see here it's playing back nice and smoothly without any issues so not stuttering or something like this which is pretty nice so uh, what do we have as well there's a new system upgrader so well, is it really new i don't think that you will notice the changes there are changes under the hood that upgrade the system there are many many changes under the hood done just like for example in prepare uh, in preparation i think for the next update 2.2 so for example there is lux support so if you want to have full disk encryption on your phone it's not there in the UI, I guess. Let me check the settings. I didn't see anything there. But I think it might come with the next version. And um, yeah, these are basically every uh, the big changes. There are, of course, more changes. I will link. I'll give you a link in the description where you can click on it to the release notes and also the very, very long change log where you can read every change that Yola basically did to save stress 214 and yeah I hope you enjoyed this little um, video with some demonstrations <laughs> as well of save stress 214 it's in early access right now currently if everything works fine in about a week perhaps a little bit longer uh, the version will arrive uh, on those who aren't in the early access um, uh, list and yeah, this is everything for this little uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, click on like or subscribe as well. And yeah, this is everything for this video. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.